what's going on everybody so I have done this once before and I wanted to let a lot of announcements happen and some things come out before I did a follow-up to this so for the month of June we're gonna check out some of the newly announced fragrances and newly released fragrances on iFragrance official the Instagram account that I follow and if you're not following you should be in my opinion um, because usually as soon as something gets announced it almost daily they're adding it to the site with no breakdowns the stories behind the fragrances note behind the brand and so on. So stay tuned. So here we go at iFragrance Official. And then, of course, before we go to that, you can always check out at tltg.reviews make sure you're following me as well I would muchly appreciate it but let's start off with today's announcement on the site Mason Margella from the Replica line Autumn Vibes Woody Trail and Red Leaves Memory in a Fragrance so they describe this as Autumn Vibes takes you into the memory of a colorful autumn day golden leaves crackling leaves the breath of fresh air the feeling of being one with nature enjoy a moment of contemplation with this new eau de toilette from replica collection by mason margella escape from everyday life with this woody spicy fragrance whose cedarwood cedarwood essence in combination with a moss accord remind you of the feeling of a walk through an autumn forest the lively feeling of brightly colored leaves crunching underfoot is reflected in notes of pink peppercorns and an essence of cardamom Top notes of cardamom and pink pepper, in the mid nutmeg and carrot seeds, in the base moss and cedar. This is an interesting fragrance in my opinion. Uh, pretty excited about this one. I think I definitely want to try this one. I think this will be a great release for uh, early fall. Um, by the Fireplace is a really good fragrance. Jazz Club is a really good fragrance. I've been wanting to get at the Barbers for a long time. I've tried Under the Lemon Tree very good but it didn't strike me as something I had to get for the price uh, but they do have a ton of great fragrances in this line while I don't have a bottle of anything I have sampled a lot of these and none have intrigued me to the point of grabbing a bottle other than at the barbers I still want to get a bottle of that and uh, I think uh, in sailing day I want to get that one too but autumn vibes this one really really strikes me as something I'm gonna need to get my hands on I think this is gonna be a great release and then they actually tagged me in this one when it came out whoever runs the account for i fragrance official uh they uh watch let me go down here so the uh, at tltg reviews right there yesterday when it came out so i guess they they thought they must follow the channel and they thought this is something that would strike me as a fragrance i would enjoy uh haven't completely read everything yet but uh based on the notes i think they're right this is something i might have to get my hands on so the new youp wow eau de toilette fresh for men new flanker so i don't have any of the wow fragrances i don't have anything from youp other than the original youp ohm and they have two fragrances we're about to cover this being one of them that i'm really interested in believe it or not reach for the unknown and experience a new surprising wow moment Wow Fresh invents the unmistakable character of Wow, new and presents with a dynamic firework of fresh notes. The prelude is sparkling bergamot, which gives you the elegant notes of lavender essence and crushed violet leaves, a sophisticated frame. The heart, the heart note adds masculine accents of geranium to the fresh aromatic cocktail, which are gradually warmed up by sensual vanilla and the fragrance experience with the iconic finish of Wow to Lock, an elegant composition for a refreshing break. Top is bergamot, violet leaf, and lavender, mid of geranium, base of vanilla. It doesn't seem like some fancy note breakdown, some new groundbreaking DNA. I have a feeling it's going to be a familiar type of smell while still kind of doing its own thing at the same time. It is interesting. Obviously, it's going to have that sharpness of violet leaf, the aromatic nature of lavender, sweet vanilla, and then some form of a mintiness from geranium. The geranium, I think, will play a big player, be a big player in this fragrance. This is just my gut feeling. Um, and depending on how it's done, it might be incredible or it might be boring. But I feel like once it gets to discounters, it's one I might have to get my hands on because uh, this one intrigues me a little bit. So much so 
that whoever runs this account tagged me in it and thought of me when they posted it. So I thought that was quite interesting because uh, even though I feature them in this little series I'm doing, this being the second video like this, I have no idea who runs this account or anything like that. I don't know them personally or anything. I just, I like the account. I think this is a helpful account for a fragrance enthusiast. And then we have the new Fusion Dissy Ego. New aromatic woody fragrance for men. I'm not going to read everything on it. Let's take a look at the notes. Bergamot and cardamom. Peppermint essence. Sandalwood essence. Solar mineral accord. So I don't know exactly what that is supposed to be. This is another house that I've been wanting to dive into more. They put a ton of releases out. Um, people love Issey Miyake, and for good reason. That you know, they make good fragrances. I have a handful. You know, I have I, I, not even a handful. I have three fragrances from them. Uh, some of their older releases, obviously. And I do want to start diving into Issey Miyake a bit more. Um, I'm gonna maybe lay off some of the cheapies a little more going forward for this year and maybe focus more on some of these newer releases and and as I said at the beginning of the year bucket list fragrances fragrances I've been wanting to get for a long time and that includes uh, Major Dissy and Super Major Dissy so that's two that I've been wanting to get from this house specifically Twilly D'Hermes does not interest me and then, believe it or not, Youp Om Eau de Parfum actually really interests me. I mean, this isn't a new post. This is from May 21st. It's been announced for a little while now. But I have a feeling that this is going to be so much better than the original. Because I'm not really a fan of the original. I think it's just a, a super, it's too synthetic. I can bear it, but I don't. it never makes me want to wear it. I have a bottle. I just kind of have it. Um... But whereas with this one, I have a feeling that there's going to be a richness that changes the game for this fragrance. So this one, I will read the description. Yup Om crosses the limits of olfactive addiction with a new eau de parfum. Dark and res resolutely mysterious, the fragrance reveals a sophisticated contrast. The spicy freshness of cardamom is warmed up by a voluptuous blend of roasted hazelnut, vanilla, and tonka bean. A sensual overdose of elegance for a man with an undeniable charisma. The tops bergamot, cinnamon bark oil, and fresh hazelnut. In the heart, you got orange blossom, heliotrope, cardamom oil, pine needle oil. That's an interesting one, pine needle oil. And in the base, you have tonka bean absolute, vanilla, sandalwood, moss, casmaran, and vetiver. So I think this is going to have a powderiness to it. What with it having this cardamom oil mixing with this tonka bean absolute vanilla and sandalwood i think it's going to make for a slightly creamy and powdery richer version of Yup Om. i think this is going to be a good release i don't know who's gotten their hands on it already but i think this is one i'm going to be targeting to pick up this year i think i'll enjoy this um yet to be determined obviously but i will blind buy this one as i do with most of my fragrances i blind buy all the time that's pretty much how i roll i'm a blind buy type of guy um, I don't know. I'm digging this one. I think I will like it. Then the new Michael Kors fragrance, Extreme Journey, a woody spicy fragrance. That's always a good move for me. Top of juniper oil, pink pepper, and cypress oil, grapefruit geranium. Okay, interesting top. The mid is desert woods accord and papyrus. The base is leather myrrh and oak moss. So this has potential to be something really, really nice for the house of Michael Kors and their men's line. Um, I think this could potentially be a really good release as well. This was announced back May 19th on iFragrance Official. Like I said, I was waiting for some things to build up over the last couple weeks before I wanted to make this video. Here's another Fusion Dissy Extreme. So another Issey Miyake release. And this one, you're looking at the top of cardamom and bergamot, the mids peppermint, coconut, Provenza, Provenza. I don't know how to say it, Provenco Lavender, Provencal, Provenza, because it looks like this is an L that goes with this portion, so I don't know, weird. The base is sandalwood and patchouli, so not too sure about that one. The cap looks really cool, the way they've articulated the, the edges to it and added some some different curves, I guess you could say. A new Mancera release, Lovely Garden doesn't really interest me a floral musky scent for women so any of you ladies that happen to be watching the tops pink pepper cinnamon and red mandarin the mids sensual turkish rose indonesian patchouli leaves orange blossom and tuberose the base is gray amber sweet toffee 
mystical incense and powdery musk. So probably probably going to be a good release for the ladies. Probably super loud too. So this is one that really interests me. I know people are starting to pick it up. I've been wanting to dive into the Mercedes-Benz man line a lot more. I want to. This year, I will be picking up the ones that interest me. Mercedes-Benz man blue, gray, and this one especially. So I think this one's going to be a super fresh delight. So Mercedes-Benz man fresh is a lighter aromatic fragrance that has it all energy, freshness, and refinement. The fragrance blends sparkling fresh notes with a dynamic aromatic heart and sensual woody notes for an unforgettable trail. The top is bergamot, green apple, and pear and ozone. The mid is sage, lavender, and orange flower, and in the base, dry wood, cedar wood, and brox, which is in broxen, and musk, available in 50 ml and 100 ml at Dillard's. So I guess it's a Dillard's exclusive based on it saying that. I can't verify, I'm just going on off of what's said here. This one really interests me. I will be getting my hands on this one once I can get it for what I feel is a decent price. Right now, my target is finishing up the Y line, Le Parfum, and getting a bottle of EDP. Um, and then I'm finally going to get Rasasi Hawass. Enough people have told me I need to get it, so I'm finally going to pull the trigger on that. And then that pretty much covers everything outside of the new Bentley Momentum Unbreakable. This is the last one I'll cover for this video because I haven't dove outside of Momentum Unlimited. I haven't gotten Momentum Int Intense, which is the hype beast of this line from Bentley. Um, but this one, I remember looking at it and I remember it, it intriguing me. The tops Violet Leaves, Mandarin Sfuma. I don't know if that's a typo. And Lavender. Heart is Immortel, Geranium, and Oris. The base is Dreamwood, that's copyrighted, so a fantasy note. Vetiver from Haiti, Papyrus, and Patchouli. So with Oris, clearly it's going to have a floral appeal, and it's going to be a little powdery. So that's why this one strikes me as something I'd be interested in. I think this is going to be a departure from what the momentum line has been, and I think this is going to be really good. And then that label looks really freaking cool. Don't get me wrong, Momentum Unlimited with that diamond plate look, that's cool looking, but this tops it for sure. That's a cool looking bottle in my opinion. So, so that is the fragrances I want to dis discuss. Make sure you're following at iFragranceOfficial on Instagram. That is the page that we referenced here today. I think it's a very helpful and informative page when it comes to announcements, new releases, and stuff like that. Um, and it, it's just a great page, period. Uh, no craziness on this one. They're just giving you the facts, notes from the brand. They uh, they actually put it in their Instagram story when they announce new ones as well. Just a very helpful Instagram account. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe because I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. Have you gotten your hands on any of these that were announced last month that have hit the ground running already? They're available for purchase. I know Mercedes-Benz Man Fresh, that's available for purchase right now. I don't want to pay retail for it. I want to wait a little bit, but we'll see. But there's a lot. The ones we covered interest me the most. That's why it's the ones I covered in this video. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the fragrances that we discussed just now, and you give them a spray now, I'm not really sure just yet because I haven't smelled them myself. But you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.